After months of intense training and dieting, it's finally time for the big event, the WNBF World Championships. Show day. The most important part of the show is the pre-judging or posing on stage for a panel of judges. Doing well here provides validation for this extreme lifestyle. Terry's here and she's not in the mood to chat. At the drug test yesterday, all the athletes hid the goods under layers of clothing. Today, they're strutting their stuff. And it's a little intimidating. Despite the fact that I try not to, you know, focus on anything else around me, you do. And you you, you sneak a look and you, you take a look at the competition. I think that I, I didn't look as good as I, I could have. And I think I kind of knew that before I hit the stage. I think that that kind of got the best of me, yeah. It's extremely common for bodybuilders to hide their bodies until and unless they're on stage. Dr. Harrison Pope, a professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, has a unique insight on that phenomenon. Often, with the women who came to us in the course of our study of, of female bodybuilders, the woman would apologize for her current appearance and would immediately produce a series of photographs of herself on stage at the time of a competition and would turn and say, this is not me. And then show us the picture, say, this is me. We have even seen cases of individuals who were reluctant to suntan for fear that a plane flying overhead might notice them looking down. Finally, showtime. Some of the women get their pumps in right up to the last second. The first group that we're going to be doing in this drug tested event, all athletes, seven years drug tested. Uh, polygraph in your analysis here in the pros. The first group to take the stage, the lightweight women. Terry is so modest about her body, she avoids going to the beach. And yet here she is on the stage under harsh lights in front of an audience in a bikini. When you're hooked, sometimes you have to put your own insecurities aside for the sake of the sport. Not only do they look at your, your physique, but your stage performance. Relax, face front. How you um, just, I guess, portray your body. I don't go to the beach in the summer, and if I do, I wear shorts. I don't dress, you know, very revealing in general. My, my skirts are always knee high. So that was the toughest thing for me, because I remember my first show in Poughkeepsie, I was really embarrassed wearing that. Um, that was hard for me to get used to, just being naked up there, because you're practically naked. Terry did end up making her desired class, lightweight. At today's competition, she's number four. She's praying to stay center stage and not be moved out toward either end of the line. Relax. That's like Siberia for a bodybuilder. We have four and five change places, four and five. Stand your legs, Nancy. Most muscular. Come on. Right, okay, nice. We can have four and twelve change places. Four and twelve. Relax. They moved me so many times that it was a little bit confusing because I didn't know what they were doing as far as my position. We can have four and nine change places next to each other. All right, ladies. I'd like to see one final pose before you leave the stage. This is the Women's Pro Natural Nature's Best World Championships competitors. All right, ladies, thank you very much. You can file off. We'll see the top eight to do their routines tonight. Terry is less than pleased with her performance. She won't find out until tonight whether she advances to the next round. Well, I mean, I'm beating myself up now because I know what I did wrong. 
I know what I did wrong. So, um, you know, I was cramping up a little bit up there, so it was kind of hard to hold my poses for a very long time because I was cramping up and you can't really squeeze your muscles when you're cramping because you don't want them to lock. So, you know, I did my best. I didn't hit my, uh, my poses quick enough, so I, they probably took a lot of points off of that. I'm going to just, I need a break. Later that day, the judges announced their selections. Number 18, number 19, number 21, number 2, number 3. Terry learns she has not advanced to the next round. All that hard work, and now she has to do it all over again for the next competition. When you work so hard and you train so hard and... You know, and it doesn't happen for you. It's it's just really disappointing. Like you want to kick yourself for not working harder or, or doing more. Just on the white part for me. All right, then. Yeah. Normally, what I try to do, especially with women who have had experiences with feeling particularly bad about where they placed, is to understand that they just need to go to the local mall and realize, based on what they're seeing, that they are in fact still in the 99 and 9 tenth percentile of the female human race. Okay, hold it, ready? Good. They are in remarkable condition by comparison to the, to the big wide world of womanhood. After 16 weeks of hard training, Christy Hawkins and Colette Nelson have landed in Columbus, Ohio for their competition, the Miss International. How are you, man? Good, how are you? Before a big competition, female bodybuilders put themselves through an array of beauty treatments, all to achieve a look that may seem over the top to most, but one they think will work for them. Colette, you ready? Yeah. Aside from the obvious, hair, nails, and makeup, they literally airbrush their bodies from head to toe. We are trying to be on that stage at our ultimate best, and the skin tone can make or break a placing. Might feel a little bit cold, Colette. I'm good, Jim. Because we just got it in. I feel good. I think I look really good. I think I've got a different look, and, you know, we have to go with it. I'm, I'm feeling positive about it, though. We're going to start out with a little bit of blood man, moisturizer. This is always relaxing, the calm before the storm. Doing laps. Three more pieces. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. I love you. Oh, my God. This is hot. OK, am I going to be the hottest female bodybuilder up there? I mean, Yo, you, are you, worse, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. This is a game. It's perception versus reality. You know what I mean? So it's not, you know what I mean? Wherever the flaws may be, it's all an illusion. When we come back, the question now becomes how to turn illusion into a winning performance. Here I go. Wish me luck. Will Colette's hard work pay off? <laughs> 